Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be comparing three different uh, pairs of binoculars. On the very left over here, I have the Vortex Diamondback HD 10 by 42. So this is the new Vortex Diamondback HD series uh, with the HD glass for better chromatic aberration performance. In the middle over here, I have the Vanguard Endeavor 2 10 by 42. And this comes with Japanese Hoya glass. And on the right, I have the Vanguard Endeavor 4 10 by 42. So this is the newest model in the series. And I'm going to be comparing a couple of different uh, uh, facets of these binoculars. So the first of that is the field of view. Uh, now, uh, for the Vortex Diamond Back, the field of view is advertised as 330 feet at 1,000 yards. For both of the Vanguard Endeavor binoculars, the field of view is advertised as 340 feet, so a little bit larger than the Vortex Diamond Back. Now, in actual practice, uh, when I compared them outside, what I found was that the Vanguard Endeavor 2 has a noticeably larger field of view than the other two. Uh, it's, it's not overwhelmingly larger, but it is noticeable around the edge of the field that it is a larger field of view than, uh, than both the Endeavor uh, 4 uh, as well as the Vortex Diamond Back. So uh, for the field of view, the Vanguard Endeavor 2 gets uh, first place and both the Vortex and the uh, Vanguard Endeavor 4 get second place. Uh, the second thing that I'm going to compare is the center sharpness of these binoculars. So both of the uh, both the Vortex Diamondback and the Endeavor 4, so these two over here, uh, were very sharp uh, in the center of the field of view. So the Endeavor 4 though did have a slight edge. It was slightly sharper than the uh, Vortex Diamondback. So the first place goes to the Endeavor 4, second place goes to the Vortex Diamondback, and third place in this case goes to the Endeavor 2 as it wasn't quite as sharp as the, as the other two. So the Vanguard Endeavor 2 gets uh, third place in this case. As far as the edge sharpness, both of the Vortex Endeavor, uh, sorry, the Vanguard Endeavor 2 and the Vanguard Endeavor 4 were very sharp, almost right to the edge of the field of view. Um, so in terms of edge sharpness, both of the uh, Vanguard Endeavor binoculars are tied for first place. And the Vortex Diamondback I found was only sharp up, up to about maybe 70% uh, from the center, uh, so the Vortex Diamond Bag gets third place in that regard. Um, the next uh, thing that we're going to compare is the chromatic aberration performance. So in uh, lower price binoculars, it's quite easy to see purple fringing along the edges, purple or green fringing along uh, high contrast areas of whatever you're looking at. So if you're looking at a bright, uh, you know, white object against a darker background, you're going to be seeing chromatic aberration or fringing around, color fringing around the edges. So in that regard, the Vanguard Endeavor 4, which is the newest model of the series, had the best chromatic aberration performance, so it gets first place. Uh, and the uh, chromatic aberration or purple fringing was only slightly visible in the most demanding conditions, but unless you're specifically looking for it, there is really no purple fringing to be seen in the Vanguard Endeavor 4. The Vanguard Endeavor 2 gets second place in that regard. Uh, the chromatic aberration performance is still very good. Uh, you're, you're not likely to notice it in any regular use scenario. And third place in chromatic aberration performance goes to the Vortex Diamondback. Um, even though you're not likely to notice it in most regular use scenarios or really at nighttime, uh, in, in high contrast uh, scenarios during the daytime, so if you're looking at, let's say, you know, a bird or a seagull or something like that in bright daylight, uh, you will notice some slight purple fringing on the Vortex Diamondback, but it is still miles ahead of any cheap binoculars you're likely to get. So first place in terms of uh, purple fringing or chromatic aberration goes to the Vanguard Endeavor 4. 
just slightly behind that is the Vanguard Endeavor 2 and last place in that regard goes to the Vortex Diamondback HD. Uh, now both of the Vanguard Endeavor series use uh, Japanese Hoya glass, Japanese Hoya ED glass so that explains the really good performance and the uh, Vortex Diamondback HD it does have HD glass but it's not really ED glass from what I can see so it does have some very very minor chromatic aberration that's visible in really demanding conditions but the view is still very very good. Now the next factor to compare is the weight so if you are going on long hikes or backpacking uh, this will be a major factor and in that regard the Vortex Diamondback HD uh, is significantly lighter than the other two. You wouldn't think that uh, you know a few ounces makes a big difference but when comparing them directly the weight is certainly noticeable and if you're going to be doing a lot of hiking or portability is very important to you then the uh, Vortex Diamondback HD would be my go-to. Uh, if you're not going to be carrying this around for miles and miles or all day uh, then either one of the Vanguard Endeavor ones will do the job. Uh, they're not heavy by any means but compared to the Vortex Diamondback series they do feel noticeably heavier so if portability is your main concern then uh, the Vortex Diamondback HD easily takes first place and both of the Vanguard Endeavors weigh almost the same so they're both tied for second place. Now um, the last fact that I compared was what I call the fun factor and in that regard the Endeavor 4 does get first place uh, so that's because the image was bright because of the new prisms that they're using in this model and the image was sharp across the field uh, so in terms of uh, the fun factor the Endeavor 4 would be my favorite binocular to use. Uh, the Endeavor 2 gets second place. It offered a very wide field of view and it was pretty sharp across, uh, across the field to the edge. Uh, the center of the field was not quite as sharp as the Endeavor 4 but overall it was still a very sharp field of view all the way to the edge. And then third place goes to the Vortex Diamondback uh, HD. Even though it's very, very light and the most portable of the three, uh, I found that the uh, edge performance was not nearly as good as the other two. So in some cases, the, uh, the, the little bit of blurring at the edge did distract from the overall field of view in certain cases. And uh, so in terms of overall image quality and uh, how much fun the pair of binoculars is to use, I would rate the Vanguard Endeavor 4 as number one, the Endeavor 2 as number two, and the Vortex Diamondback HD in uh, number three. And uh, the uh, Vanguard Endeavor 4 is the most expensive of uh, the pair as well, and then the Endeavor 2 and the Vortex was the, uh, the best value option overall, the lowest cost. So if that's a factor, then the Vortex Diamondback would be higher up on the rating. Uh, but if cost is not a factor, I would go, sorry, the Vortex Diamondback I meant, but if cost is not a factor, I would go with the Vanguard Endeavor 4. So uh, that's my review of the three binoculars, the Vortex Diamondback HD, the Vanguard Endeavor 2, and the Vanguard Endeavor 4. So I hope you found this uh, review useful, and uh, I hope to bring you a lot more reviews in the future. So thank you very much uh, for listening, and uh, I'll have a good rest of your day.